Assalamu alaikum and welcome. Fight fans, are you ready? Let's get ready. There is no outcome you could suggest that I would find implausible. Here we go, round number one. But it's going to have to be here tonight to take his titles back from Ruiz. A dangerous man at close range. Joshua says, hey, I'm six foot six, six seven. I need to engage at my benefit. You know, both these fighters said during the buildup they want to control the center of the ring. That's where they want to call home. We'll see who can do it. I mean, he is full 11 pounds lighter. And he was already in tremendous physical condition, but he needs to box. Has shaped a lot of that weight off. Right hand from Joshua, that landed. Joshua said he was gonna try to keep this fight. Final minute of round number one, and Anthony Joshua, true to his word, is boxing, but it has to play itself out in the ring. Ruiz tries a right hand, and he eats a right hand from Joshua. Oh, he's and her, that's cut him as well. And let's see if Joshua remains composed. He already cut Ruiz with the first right hand, but he has to stay disciplined. He doesn't seem to be as aggressive here, and Joshua is able to control things at range in round three back in New York City. Joshua boxing nicely, subtle foot feints. He has. Yeah, Ruiz will make you pay if you lose that discipline, even for a second. This in Ruiz's corner. Manny Robles told us, yes, the first half of the round, expect Joshua to look good, but can he? He's always advancing. Very game. Was finding the range, and right now, Ruiz is finding the range. And Joshua there with, a, is with that jab that we saw in the first fight. This is much more of what you would think would be the amateur British to it, because if you put power behind jabs and you miss, you fall off balance, and that's when you get trapped by Andy Ruiz's faster hands. And that Joshua cut, just from the eyeball test here, looks like to the worst spot than Andy Ruiz's. It's at range so far against the champion Andy Ruiz. Ruiz now gets him on the ropes. I would love to see Joshua throw jabs to the, to the torso of Ruiz, to the stomach. Let's try to see exactly where that cut was. Oh, it's a hard jab from Ruiz. But that was over to the other side of his face, I believe. Round three, clash on the dunes. There's tension, there's drama, and there are tactics in the ring as well. There you see Joshua just using that jab as, a, as Saudi Arabia now welcomes in the biggest sporting event. Again, this is a legacy fight, mostly for Anthony Joshua, because he submitted it, and he just concentrated on boxing, and that's why he's looking so nice right now, boxing, moving around the ring, used by Anthony Joshua. And right now, Andy Ruiz, he's trying to close the distance with no jab. For Ruiz, where he's very, very dangerous. Good jab by Ruiz. Throw the jab, maintain the distance, but make it quick. Use the feint in order to cut the distance and then go for the jugular. Back to you. Joshua landing with the hook, showing a good repertoire, but he's been patient. Again, it's difficult to be patient round after round. When are you going to start winning this fight? And then when he found the time was right, he put Kovalev away. Another good jab from Joshua. Floyd at once. Given what we saw of him getting hurt from the last fight, and those chopping right hands on the inside will do it taking command and Chris Mannix has given all four rounds so far to the challenger Anthony Joshua yeah I thought Andy Ruiz Andy Ruiz struggling to find his range and you can see the you can see the blood already on Ruiz but obviously the danger is there it takes a lot and right now it takes a lot for what Anthony Joshua is doing he's boxing staying disciplined on the inside he's can you just work on clinching and training Sergio and make it work yes you can do that you have to do that against a fighter like him. so far he has and so far he has shown and that is a beautiful jab again by Joshua he looks at least it's that everything is above the neck he's not targeting the body of Andy Ruiz second half of the fight because right now Ruiz throws over the shot over punches really well especially with speed and timing long strong jab by Anthony Joshua and when he feels the confidence, he'll wing a hook as to be able to box like this the whole night. So far, Anthony Joshua has done so. 
You would think that a jab can be devastating, but look at the face of Andy Ruiz. But he has been kept at bay. Still, if you contrast what we saw about a month ago at Andy Ruiz, he's getting through. Oh, and it's a hard jab, too. Kovalev was just popping out a, a light jab on Canelo. Anthony Joshua's throwing. Good hard hook by Ruiz. And all right, you can see him getting fired up, but maybe that's not the best idea. You can do that the rest of the night. The titles are his again. I didn't think that we never had time to train him as a classic amateur. Never had to, you know, move and stick. And that I wasn't, I wasn't agreeing with Chris Maddox saying that they needed to change trainers. Robert McCracken knows his man. Anthony Joshua seemingly winning every round in a beautiful hook. Snaps the head of Andy Ruiz. Okay. But you wonder if Ruiz has the conditioning to get his feet in position to land something. Andy Robles and Andy Ruiz's trainer, need, they need a plan B right now. Well, what's plan B? But that's what? not what they train for, Andy, with the faster punches. He doesn't look like the faster, stronger fighter, but he is. Otherwise, Ruiz can keep throwing. Final seconds of round six, all Anthony Joshua. He, at a certain point, they have to realize we've lost, if not every round, most every round. Something must change. If you're Andy Ruiz, I think at some point, some point soon, you gotta let your hands go. Cool. And the big question was, can Anthony Joshua fight at long distance? The answer is yes. Well, he fought a good hook by Joshua. He fought small though here tonight. He looks to clinch. Ruiz will have none of it. Real-time odds from MGM Resorts. And now Ant I wondered whether Anthony Joshua could float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. And just there with the right hand. Oof. He just missed with that right hand. That's a six months ago. So he should to be, or you would figure. You did man in front of you, you see the face puffing up on Ruiz. To throw something like that, get in close and yeah, train. Well within his rights to try to throw when he's getting clinched. Notice Joshua pounding his chest. Just full of confidence. And beautiful right by Joshua. And training with the hook, that was dangerous. Joshua and smothering. As soon as Ruiz wanted to let go of his punches, smothered and extinguished that. And, that, and it could all change with one punch of Andy Ruiz. So when Anthony Joshua catches their eye during a clinch, they're all standing up to offer their own advice. Chris Mannix going to Anthony Joshua, we concur. Sergio, I don't mean to speak to, uh, for you, but... Cracking is sure that this is the fight plan necessary. This was the fight. Shorten him. Just do not let him out. But stay tall and stay long. Thank you. Well, that's what we heard, especially in the one-night documentary that we have on DAZN. I mean, he was spacey. He walked in just looking around like he was the king. And he found that you sixth round back in the first fight. Uh oh and Right hand by Ruiz. But Joshua with something of a cheap shot during a tie-up or a clinch. And Josh seems to be getting a little bit frustrated with it. Oh, no, he is very frustrated in the ring. Lands the right hand to the body. And what I was going to say, Sergio, you're right. Oh, Ruiz was able to have success to the body. And that's a hard right hand off the hook by Ruiz. Here's Ruiz, big chance. He swats him with the right hand. Exactly what he's been doing. Do not switch it. Mix it up with the faster fighter. Within his right. It's up to the referee. And that jab landed. And he blocked the hook. But every time he goes, oh, Ruiz doing the right thing, too. He's not letting Joshua hold on anymore. He's pushing him. It's not some one-punch wonder. This guy can fight on the inside. All Anthony Joshua, and there Chris Mannix, I think, reflecting the change in the fight. Then doesn't really get in the middle of him. So you got to protect yourself at all times in those situations. Ruiz got or let him fight. Maybe it's because Ruiz is punching in between the shots, and he doesn't want to get clipped by a punch. Able to snap the head back with a jab. Varying it now with the hook as well. And I made a career not fighting in the Mexican style. Ruiz again winging those shots. And fighters, stick and move. Do not engage. Do not fight the Mexicans' fight. Like moving around, sticking, not wanting to engage. It's very frustrating. Not only for Andy Ruiz, but for the fan. In the ring. Yeah, Joshua can't get lazy with those tie-ups. He's going to tie up Andy Ruiz to keep that fight and just hope that it might be one time where he can pop Joshua as he eats an uppercut. But did not engage. He fell off balance and back. Again. This is the discipline we were catching Andy Ruiz with big punches and letting him come to him. Back up, keep boxing, keep discipline. Where every time he throws that shot and is able to land on Joshua, I'm waiting for Joshua to go down or be hurt. Chris, given the early work by Joshua with the jab. I thought he did well with the jab, but we didn't show a lot of those combinations. Of Joshua, he, he's already timing the movement, so it'll be smart. He sees something and his hands just move. He is able to ability of Ruiz opening up the arsenal. Ruiz is looking for a counter right hand over a lazy jab. 
And the real-time odds you see from MGM, Anthony Joshua now a prohibitive favorite. And let Anthony Joshua grow bravado, and bravado wasn't the, the word that he chose, but right now... Ruiz fighting out of the clinch, and really showing Sergio the championship pedigree so far. That's what I want to see, some jabs to the chest and to the belly of Ruiz. You got to alternate it because you don't want to get... Anthony Joshua was on his toes, sticking and moving. We fought 10 here for the heavyweight championship, and he said, I had to confront my own friends. I had to go back to the gym, has devoted himself, and is in position to get his world championships back. When you go up against an opponent with a granite, you know, the Klitschko brothers were criticized for years for doing that, but he hasn't stunk the place out. Sergio, I'm going to have to take a point away. Next time. Round 11. It's not as if he's in there. There's another beautiful jab. Look, you can land jabs like that. Jabs 49 to 21 in favor of Anthony Joshua. They fight off the jab extremely well. Another jab, bouncing the head back. Whoever was wondering if Joshua, a champion with several of the belts, he has been able to change after adversity, after embarrassment. Andy Ruiz shaking his head as he comes out for the final round. He needs a knockout to stay heavyweight champ. Wide margin, wide gap for Chris Mannix on his score. Was losing every round with Maldrick Taylor, and he got clipped towards the end of the fight. Another one. Right hand. He's in desperation mode. He has to be. To say, bring it, and stay in close. But maybe Joshua wants to do some damage here. It was a clean right hand from Anthony Joshua. That opened things up. And get a considerable points lead here, we believe. By moving around. One of the most improbable heavyweight champions in boxing history, along with Primo. He is losing his championship belts here tonight. He continues to chase Joshua. And it has shown up here tonight. Final 30 seconds. You know Ruiz isn't going to quit. Hard right hand comes up short for Ruiz. Ruiz says Joshua continues to dance. And Anthony Joshua with a resounding answer. Cut up, not beat up, but smacked around a little bit. Last time out, they were yelling at each other in the ring about stuff that happened in the build-up to the fight. The fighting bride of London, England, Anthony Joshua. By a very game challenger, and he has regained it.